Hi, everybody. Russ from the West Ham Network. Hope you are all safe and well if you're new around here. Where the bloody have you been, firstly? Thanks for joining us. Um, <laughs> and welcome. Welcome. A few, few uh, random, obviously, put a few videos out in the last few last day or so. Worth checking them out. We never got through to me to doing the ratings, actually, yesterday, to be fair. Um, second time in a, in a row we haven't done the ratings because everyone's um, had their opinions about the game and we wanted to voice them all. Um, then we did a, a show about... Uh, Jose Mourinho for Hammers Headlines and all that rubbish with news at 10 uh, about uh, the potential for relegation and what it could mean to the shareholders and stakeholders at West Ham in terms of maybe reconsidering their positions. And then this morning, I urge you to go and listen to Alf's Grumble. Um, we've titled it No Meat on the Bones. There's a classic line in there. We sounded, what was the line? Because I messaged it to him when I heard him do it. It was absolutely brilliant. The line was, where is it? Where is it? It's an absolute classic. Um, because I think last time was there not enough spit in your in your vinegar over uh, and this one was like a crisp, crystal meth addict trying to eat KFC. For me dabble. But honestly, it was a brilliant, brilliant piece. Just I think summed up where I am as a West Ham fan at the moment and, and where I think the majority of us are West Ham fans. So please check that out and give and give Alfie your thoughts. Um but today, obviously, there's nothing we do about the Premier League now until April the 2nd. We're going to talk about that in a minute. We're going to park that because actually it's about focusing on Thursday. Opportunity to um, potential opportunity to put a marker down, um, leave, give the fans something to cheer about maybe for the 36,000 who are going to be there, but about half, half four, I think, um, for the AEK Larnaca game. But I think it's not, obviously it's a great opportunity to get back to winning ways, but also qualify for the um, Europa Conference League. Um, we've already gone through the money involved in terms of winning it and, and how much we've earned so far. That was a, a few a few days ago, I think maybe last week we did that out. Um, and obviously, winning the conference guarantees you um, a, 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 a a position in the Europa League um, group stage. You need to qualify. Um, so that's what Roma were doing last this year because they won the ECL last year. So obviously we play Larnica in the second leg. Um, in terms of how the other groups are doing, that's uh, let's take off that for a minute. There we go. Uh, that's that's where every all the other ties are up to. Obviously there's eight ties in the last 16. 16 divided by two equals eight. Uh, my GCC maths have come in well in there. Um, so at, at the moment, AK, um, uh, AK, uh, Alkmaar, they're two one up, um, and they'll be at home to Lazio. Nice are one up at Sheriff, they took a one nil lead. Um, obviously, Turin Moffi plays for Nice now. Um, Villarreal and Anderlecht, um, they Anderlecht go to Villarreal, um, on Thursday, uh, with a one all draw, so it's in the balance at the moment. Uh, Svizbor, uh, are currently. Trading Fiorentina 1 0 in aggregate. Uh, Dusch Garden are losing, are currently 2 0 down against Lech Potsan. Um, Slovan Bartic Bratislava is, is 2 0 with Basel. And Istanbul, uh, Baskashira is 1 0 with Ghent. Actually, the, Iska, the, the Istanbul game is actually taking place on Wednesday because you've got uh, Istanbul. Uh, was Turkish side and Silver Sport are also a Turkish side, so they're so one's on the Wednesday, one's on the Thursday. So we'll actually know one of the potential opponents prior to um kickoff, actually, a few prior because actually a lot of them are at uh, five o'clock as well. So, um, yeah, that's um, what other games are. So, the, the times of the actual games. So, by the time uh, we kick off, um, we will know the uh, obviously the Istanbul result. We know, we'll know the Slovan Bratislava um, result. We'll also know the Dusch Garden versus Lech uh, Potsen uh, one. And we'll also know the Silsbor Fiorentina match. So, we're one of the last four, basically. So, four kick off. Like last week, four, we kicked off in the early round, so it's been the early time. Um, and then you had the eight o'clock kickoffs. And that's just what we're having. Obviously, it will go to extra and penalties if need be, but hopefully we progress. And then what does that mean? Well, it means that we have the draw for the quarterfinals. Um, that'll be taking place on Friday. So uh, on Friday, uh, 1 p.m. UK time, similar to what we've done before. We'll be doing a live stream um, from probably about 12-ish, going through all the runners and riders in terms of who we could potentially draw in that round. And the ties are going to be played the 13th and the 20th of April. So not long to book your flights. And obviously, unlike the previous rounds, um, we... Like this one, for example, we knew we were playing at home for the second leg. That's not a case. There's no seeding. There's no favoritism for sort of, you know, two countries can't play each other. 
no, not going to happen. Or, or two teams in one country. No, I mean it's anyone's. It's a, it's a free for all. So where last year we were, we were, you know, Sevilla came in as the third place. You know, we sort of um, we were ranked, so we sort of had the second leg at home, and that was really good. And then we had Leon, and we didn't have the first leg at home. We had the first leg at home. I don't, it's not as good, I don't think. It's sort of the luck of the draw, really. And obviously, same with the um, Eintracht Frankfurt match as well. So that's great. That's great. So say we qualify, it's fantastic. But as you can see, both tyres are happening in April. So what does that mean to our April calendar? Now, I've spoken about this before, but I thought I'd put it on a piece of paper so you can all see how manic our April is going to be and how basically, obviously, clearly, we'll by the end of April, we'll know what, what we've got to do because we only have sort of six games left after that or seven games or five games left after that. Um, so we have obviously the Southampton game on the second at home. And then we then we play Newcastle three days later on the Wednesday. Then we play um, Fulham on the away on the on the Saturday. Then we have the first um, ECL quarterfinals if we obviously qualify against AK Larnaca, of course. We don't obviously know whether that's home or away. Then we're in, then we're playing Arsenal on the Sunday at home. Then we've got the second leg um, of the quarterfinals. Then we've got Bournemouth away. Now I've I've put the twenty third in there. It's actually still down as the twenty second, which is the Saturday, but that will be changed, I imagine, to the twenty third um, because of our involvement in the ECL. If we obviously qualify, I guess I can't say if because you never know. Um, and then after that Bournemouth game, we then play at home again on the Wednesday, twenty sixth against Liverpool. And then we've got Crystal Palace away on the um, on the Saturday. So there's a hell of a lot of games there, plus the ECL games. The semi-final games are taking place in mid-May. Um, but again, May's not looking even better for us at the moment. We won't, we'll, we'll, let's get past April first. Uh, May's looking even more troublesome, particularly with the likes of Man City game having to be um, rescheduled. That's looking like, to me, it's going to be the last Wednesday of the week of these of the season. Um, obviously, we play at home uh, against Leeds, um, and then I think it's more like it's probably the Wednesday or something like that for the following Wednesday for the Man City game, and then the Leicester City game away. So two really tough games to finish off our season. So we definitely want to make sure we're hopefully safe by then. But what I really want to know is out of that fixture list one two three four five six seven what are your predicted results win win lose or draw i'm not worried about the goal difference because that will what will be will be with goal differences but you know taking out the ecl the, the quarterfinal games what's your what's your points total there um i'll be really interested to know for me if I was looking at that um, with my West Ham Claret glasses on, as per usual, actually, let's do that one. I like, I like that one. Oh, you can't see me now. Let's do that one. Um, I would say I, I, I'd fancy us against Southampton at home. Uh, Newcastle, I'd still fancy us at, Newca- at home against Newcastle. Um, Newcastle were at their place is a different prospect. Um, I'd say Fulham, we could probably get a draw. I think Fulham are starting to wane a little bit. Arsenal at home, I can't see us getting more than a draw. I don't think we're going to win that one at all. Arsenal will be flying for the champion for the Premier League. Bournemouth away is always a tricky place, but maybe a draw at Bournemouth. Maybe nothing at Liverpool, possibly. Um, but then Liverpool, again, are a strange beast, aren't they, sometimes? You don't know which Liverpool side's going to turn up. Could it be the side that turns up and... And lost to Bournemouth, or could it be the side that that beat Man United seven nil? You don't know. Um, and then Crystal Palace, I do always fancies against Palace. I always do, and they're still having an atrocious time. So you know, realistically, maybe oh, I'd love eleven points. Eleven points, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? But let me know your your thoughts. Obviously, that's for me. My claret, you know, put calf glass full type thing. I want to know yours because I think it's it'd be really interesting to know the differences in opinions. And that's it. Just a short little video today. Obviously, please go back and check out Alf's Grumble this uh, this morning if you hadn't heard it. It's brilliant. It's a really, really, really good show. Um, and, and even if it wasn't on our channel, I'd definitely say to people to go and watch it. So he just sums it up so succinctly. Being like a 10, 10 minute video. Chef's kiss. And obviously Anton will be back later with Hammer's headlines. Hopefully his laptop's fixed and he'll be able to do it. Otherwise, we know Hammer's headlines tonight because I've got to go to a conference all day. But anyway, apart from that, thanks for joining us. Take care. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay humble. Keep the faith, my friends. Come on, you irons. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.